I love apples, so many kinds. Red and yellow and green on a vine. Round Hi, and welcome kids. I am so pleased to be part of the Fred Cooking Series. He invited me to be a guest today in his first bit of teaching about dessert. And today's dessert is timely because it's the fall and it's easy. A great first try. It is apple crisp. So, first of all, there are two parts to the apple crisp. The apples, and if you are wise, you find somebody to slice them for you, like I did. I love apples, so many kinds. Red and yellow and green are fine. Round and delicious, a wonderful fruit. Now that you with you. Listen, boys and girls, because I'm going to tell you more. Apples go in different things. Let's make a list. Like applesauce, apple pie, and apple crisp. There's apple juice, apple cider, and apple butter. Apple muffins, turnovers, and more from your mother. I love apples. Add sugar and cinnamon to the apples. Put that in there because this gets them to get juicy and flavorful. Making sure everything gets covered with a little sugar and cinnamon. And now a few more final things about apples. Apples has... Okay, my apples are sitting, they're gonna get juicy, and now I'm going to do the crumble that goes on top. As you see, I have a nice mise en place. Everything's ready. We have a half a cup of butter. I cut it, sliced it into small pieces, let it sit maybe 30 minutes just to soften a bit right out of the fridge. A cup of brown sugar, a cup and a half of flour, a half a cup of oatmeal. And I am simply going to dump all this in here and mix it up. And it will feel weird because at first the butter will feel pretty difficult to deal with at first. But it'll, it'll come together and I'll show you a special tool I have that helps mash the butter. And if the butter doesn't get completely mashed, that's okay too because it's going to melt real nicely in the oven. Mix it around, mix it around, get the brown sugar mixed in with the flour and the oatmeal. So my secret weapon is this thing. I don't know what it's called, but watch, coming close. See how it can smash things together? I'm gonna scrape this off a little bit. Here's our finished crumble. See, the butter's still a little tiny chunks, but it's all kind of mixed together. And you'll see how we're gonna sprinkle it on top of the apple crisp. Get a close up here, you can see how much juice already has formed on the bottom from the apples. The cinnamon sugar just makes them yummy and juicy. So they've been sitting while I was making my crumble. Now I'm simply gonna pour them into here. This pan is seven by 11, you can do nine by eight. You can even use an eight by eight, but I like uh, a little bit larger than that. Spread them out so they're even. Push them down a little. And now we'll add the delicious crumble to the top. And you just simply sprinkle it until it covers the whole thing and it's pretty even. Nothing scientific or magic about it. Could probably make a mess on your counter. If you had a dog, the dog could eat it up. Jump up on the counter and clean it. Hey, get! Just because the guy cuts apples thinks he can put his fingers in this. All right, look at that. Now put it in the oven. Temperature 325. Bake it slowly. It says an hour. You want to check on it, of course, maybe a little bit more. So many kinds. Red and yellow and green on a vine. Round and delicious, a wonderful fruit. Let me share my apple knowledge with you. Listen, boys and girls, because I'm going to tell you more. Apples go in different things. Let's make a list. Like applesauce, apple pie, and apple crisp. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm here to test the apple crisp recipe from Naughty Naughty's Kitchen. Muffins, turnovers, and, and more life. from your mother. Here we go. A little ice cream. I love apples, apples, so many kinds. Red and yellow and green are fine. Round and delicious. 
delicious. Oh. It's incredible. Wonderful fruit. Let me share my 